and takeaways and any other cool words starting with T so you can advance your business online the kingdom way. Welcome your host, Christopher Harold. Hey, 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 what's going on? How's everybody doing today? I am your host with the most, Christopher Harold, the Kingdom Marketing Superman himself and coming to you from my home office here in the Dallas Fort Worth Metroplex and I'm excited to be before you today for episode 115 of the Kingdom Marketing Tickets podcast. Uh, man, something big is coming. It's about to happen in the next couple of days, guys. I'm really excited. We're really pumped up. I'm really excited about this episode. I'm going to share with you as well today, episode 115. So uh, before we dive into this episode, we got a quick commercial break. So check this out. Hey, if you're a christ a coach, consultant, or expert, I want to give you a very special invitation to join us on our upcoming five-day live virtual event. Hey, I'm Christopher Hell, and over the last 18 months, I've helped over 5,000 Christ-centered coaches, consultants, and experts and entrepreneurs be able to scale their business, be able to discover the kingdom assignment, and create more impact and influence for the kingdom of God. And I want to invite you to our brand new masterclass that's starting any day now, or you simply click in the link around this video. This masterclass here is called Get Visible with Virtual. Five days to five figure months using Kingdom Virtual Events. If you're a coach, consultant, or expert, I'm sure you've been trying to grow your business doing all kinds of different techniques out there. You've probably been trying to do content marketing or webinars or maybe even spamming on the line or just trying to get a bunch of people, people in groups and everything like that. But you see that it's inconsistent, it's really not scalable, and it's, it's not a way, an ideal way for you to grow your business. There's one technique called the KVP technique radically shifted our life and our business and helped us go from zero to over $370,000 in a little over a year. And I'm going to show you exactly step by step how you can do this right now in your business and more importantly, create more impact and influence for the kingdom of God. Inside this amazing five-day event, I'm going to show you how to design your kingdom virtual event. I'm going to show you how to run your kingdom virtual event. I'm going to show you how to monetize it. Also, I'm going to show you how to create an amazing experience and how to attract the right people to your event as well. Plus, I'm going to teach you some powerful kingdom principles that if you begin to leverage these and put these in your business, it will guarantee success as well. So, there should be a link again somewhere around this video. Click that link and join me and thousands of others like-minded entrepreneurs just like you in this amazing event. It's, it's going to be free even though last time we charged it was 2000 bucks for this, but you can join for free. And what's so amazing about this, the first day, the last time we offered this, I was told it was worth $7,500 just day one itself. So you want to connect with your audience, you want to increase your reach and visibility, you want to be positioned as an authority, and you want to grow your community fast, where the KVE technique will do that for you. you experience an amazing multi-day event, and I, I can pretty much guarantee you will discover how to grow your business in the most fastest, profitable, and scalable way today. And it's way more consistent than webinars, way more consistent than spamming, way more consistent than content marketing, way more consistent trying to get people in groups and everything else as well. So, for such a time as this, God has created you and I, kingdom impact makers, to be able to expand the kingdom of God through the marketplace. And I'm going to share with you how this one technique called the KVE technique can do that for your coaching, consulting, and expert business right now today. So, again, there should be a link around this video. Click that link. 
come and join us. I look forward to connecting with you inside this amazing Get Visible with Virtual Masterclass. See you in the group. Awesome. So make sure you get your spot, my friend. Go right now to GetVisibleWithVirtual.com. Go to GetVisibleWithVirtual.com. Get your spot in the upcoming brand new masterclass. I can promise this, your life and business will never be the same. Your life and business will never be the same. So go and get your spot right now. Go and get your spot. So episode 115, let's talk, let's talk about this, guys. Let's talk about episode 115. So I'm, I'm excited to share this with you today. As many of you guys know, I'm Christopher Harrell. I'm the founder of God's Masterpiece, also best-selling author of Kingdom Affirmations, How to Activate the Power of Heaven on Earth in Your Words. You can get your amazing copy now by going to kingdomaffirmations.com. And also, also, put that there. Also, I, uh, you know, I'm the founder of this podcast, and and we're 115 episodes deep. And with this episode here, 115, this I'm gonna. I'm actually going to talk about this a lot more in depth here in the near future, but I want to talk about this topic because I believe it's something that needs to be brought up right now in this day and time and age right now today. It's something that should not be put off anymore, put off any longer, but brought up right now. So I want to share this right now because I think it's vitally important if you plan to succeed long term in business. If you don't plan on succeeding long-term in business, then this probably is not for you, right? If you're looking just to get in and get out, then this isn't for you. But if you do have long-term plans of succeeding and you want to attract the favor of God and man, this is a very important episode. Like I said, I'm going to talk about this a lot more in the future, but I'm going I'm to talk about it for a few minutes today because I think it needs, I, in fact, I know it needs to be shared. Um, I have clients who told me when I, when, when I tell them what I'm going to talk about, this topic, they say, yeah, that's God. Please bring it up. That's God. Uh, so so let me dive into this because I think it's so important, guys. So, so episode 115, what, what we're going to talk about today is something, the missing ingredient in business, and especially amongst Christians. The missing ingredient in business and especially amongst Christians. And I'm going to start off this just by sharing a brief story because it's something that a lot of people out there, right, want to grow a successful business. In fact, a lot of people out there would like to teach you how to do so. You know, I have my own academy and programs to help you grow your business, right? But very few in fact, I have seen the amount of people on one hand that talk about this, that teach on this, that emphasize this, that stress this. On one hand, maybe one or two, and I'm running one to one, not bragging or boasting, but very few people talk about this. Everybody want to talk about how to make you more successful. You go out to, to the you go out to the world and everything. How to make more money? How, how you know how to do this? How to do that? Right? But you know, it's funny. Think about the school system. It's a good example. You and I grew up in school. I remember growing up in school, and I was funny. I was sharing this this morning with my uh, with my son, my eleven year old, and we was talking about school and entrepreneurship. And I tell him, well. The things, because uh, he was asking me, Daddy, why I got to take these classes here when they, they're going to have nothing to do, you know, when I grow up? He was, talk, he was talking about, like, social studies and uh, uh, some, other, some other classes, right? And I was trying to tell him what, what they can do to benefit you. But I said, you do know what's lacking. I said, what they don't teach you, and especially when you go to college, there's a lot of stuff they don't, I said, they don't teach you how to be an entrepreneur. They don't teach you these things. But you know something else that no school teaches? No school on planet Earth teaches this, especially, especially a secular school. No school teaches ethics. And in fact, I've never come across anybody in the business world, a business seminar, a training, a, what, a mastermind, an event, 
or whatever program, they will emphasize everything else except ethics. Even as Christians, I've been around Christians in business. And even myself, I, I was noticing that people come to me because they want to grow their business, right? I'm seen as a I'm this marketing expert, right? And, and, you know, but it hit me a couple of weeks ago. I was like, huh. I said, I can teach people marketing and sales and all this other good stuff, Lord, and help them create a six-figure business. But God revealed to me something that I was assuming. Especially when God gave me this new assignment in April of 2020 and eventually launched the God's Masterpiece program in May of 2020. When God gave me this new assignment, I assumed things because my audience were believers, believers in Christ. Christians. I like to use the word kingdom citizens, but Christians is a good word. And I assumed that since God has called me to this audience and they call themselves believers and they say they believe in Jesus and they say they're saved and all this stuff they say, right? That they were automatically <laughs> read the word, obey the word, apply the word, and automatically do business ethically. I assumed that. I assumed it. Because I'm like, well, if you fear God, you're going to do things right. If you want God to bless what you're doing, you're going to do things right. Right? You're not going to be self-centered. You're not going to lie. You're not going to break your promises. You're not going to uh, uh, follow, not follow through your commitments. You're not going to break contracts. You're not going to do those things. Why? Because you claim to be a believer. So I assume that. So I never taught business ethics in my God's Masterpiece program. Or any of my master classes, anything like that, right? Just never taught it because I just assumed it. The people knew that. Well, a God had to reveal to me from doing some business with believers that uh, not everyone reads the word, or not everyone is obedient to the word, or not everyone is ethical who claims to know Jesus. And I've experienced people. I have experienced people who have lied, who have cheated, who have stolen, who have filed fraudulent uh, disputes, who have broken written contracts, who've lied on God. They said God told them to do one thing today. Then, then two or three weeks later or six weeks later, they said God told them to do something else. And all this. I have seen that amongst people who say they love God. I've seen people do other believers wrong and dirty in business. And I was like, Wow, Lord, I am a, I'm shocked. I'm appalled. My assistant, she's like, I'm just, my mind is blown. Because she said, I just didn't think believers would behave this way. I, I said, yeah, unfortunately, it's almost like you're dealing with the lost. And you would expect it from the lost, the people who don't claim to be saved. You expect some unethical stuff. You know, some breaking some promises, breaking commitments, some lying, some stealing, some cheating. You expect some of that. But you wouldn't expect it for folks who seem to be saved, filled with the Holy Ghost and redeemed. Right? And so, but it but it but it's happened. And it's quite unfortunate because that's one of the reasons why the world doesn't trust Christians. That's one of the reasons why the world does not come to your church, right? Because the people who say they know God defraud one another. So if, if you defraud your brother or your sister or your fellow king or queen, as I like to say from a kingdom perspective, why would I ever, why I ever want to trust your God? That's the mindset of someone in the world. And I've had people literally have done all those things fraudulently. Lied, cheated, stolen, uh, broken contracts that they've written and signed and say, yeah, one day God told me to do this. Two months later, God told me to do something else. I mean, just flip-flopping, uh, unstable in all their ways, like James said. Unstable, to and fro, 
and actually believe that God is leading them. And that's scary. Because God will never lead you to the fraud, to lie, to cheat, to steal. The word of God is pretty clear. I'm going to do a whole training. When you read Psalms, you talk about that you keep your promises no matter what. The word of God says, let your yes be yes and no be no. Right? We're supposed to imitate God. So imagine if God was that way. God, 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 God said he doesn't change. Right? When you have integrity, that means you are one with yourself. And it means that your behavior lies up with your word. They don't contradict one another. They integrate with one another. Right? And I've seen this from people out, you know, call themselves gurus. I've seen them defraud people who claim to know God, call themselves kingdom. And I've seen clients and students. I've seen, uh, yeah, people who, you know, who don't call themselves gurus. And that has to cease right now. That has to cease. See, the missing ingredient is character, integrity, keeping your promise. I mean, I'm going to share a couple of scriptures with you. So you see, I'm not making this stuff up. Y'all be thinking that I'm making this stuff up. But I thought it was obvious. I thought it was common sense. I'm like, <laughs> but, but I guess it's not common sense. And I thought it was. But like, if you read Psalm 15, uh, Psalm 15 says, O Lord, who may abide in your tent? Who may dwell on your holy hill? He who walks with integrity. I mean, you are one with yourself. You don't flip-flop. You don't say one thing with your word and your behavior contradicts your word. A lot of folks who claim to know Jesus are doing that today. And that needs to stop. You need to repent. And turn away from that wicked behavior. Uh, verse 2. He who walks with integrity and works righteousness and speaks truth in his heart. Doesn't slander with his tongue, nor, do, nor does evil to his neighbor. It's evil if you sign a written agreement with someone in business, regardless if they know God or not. They could be a Muslim. They could be a Hindu. They could be an atheist. But if you are a believer and you sign a written contract with someone, it's unethical and evil for you to go and lie to your credit card company or go and file a dispute or break that contract. That's evil. That is evil. He does not stand with his tongue nor does even to his neighbor, nor does he take up a reproach against his friend in whose eyes a reprobate is despised, but who honors those who honor the Lord, who fears the Lord. He swears to his own hurt and does not change. In other translations, this verse this says, he who keeps his promises no matter what, in verse 4. It says, he who keeps his promises no matter what. In fact, I'm going to read to you a, a different translation because I want you guys to get this because there's so much unethical behavior happening in Christendom today. And it's a black eye on God. You better off you better off not claiming God and be unethical than say I know God and being being unethical. You go buy stuff and you lie and say I didn't buy it. I'm, I'm, I mean it's, I'm seeing it. I'm like man, what the heck is going on? These folks who say they know God and they swear up and down God is leading them. That is the devil. God will never lead you to lie, manipulate, steal, defraud, break promises, break contracts, not keep your word. God will never lead you to do that. That's you and your feelings. And being deceived by your feelings and allowing the enemy to put these wrong thoughts in you. That's not God. God does not operate like that. Uh, verse 4 of the Good News Translation says, uh, They always do what they promise no matter how much it may cost. Hmm. Think about that, guys. New Living Translation says, they keep their promises even when it hurts. Hmm. I can remember in 20... I've been on full-time online since August 23rd, 2016. It's over five years now. And uh, on, on, when this recording is released, over five years. And I can remember 
2016, I launched my very first coaching program. And I was coaching network marketers. And I was teaching them online marketing. Right? Teaching them how to grow the network marketing business online. Like, why? Because I had a background in network marketing. I did network marketing in the past. And I uh, began using internet marketing strategies to grow my business instead of the three-way calls and the hotel meetings and the home parties and all that nonsense, right? And 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 and, and, and I began teaching network marketers how to do the same. Well, that was a 12-month program. Well, about halfway through that program, I got introduced to creating my own digital marketing agency, started having several service-based businesses grow their business online. And that was more attractive to me. Financially, uh, I would enjoy it, more, enjoy it more and everything else. So what did I do? Did I say, hey guys, I know I promised to work with you for 12 months, but I found something better over here. Sorry, peace. No, did I, did I do that? No. No, but I had a mentor who called himself a kingdom person not that long ago, did that to buy me and about 40 other people in a $10,000 program. He halfway through it, he thought, peace, I want to do something else. He worried about his click funnels plaques and all that kind of stuff. Right. But did I do that? No. I said, no, I've committed to these folks. I'm going to honor my word. So I honored my word and finished out the program another six months. And then after that, I launched my digital marketing agency in 2017. I began working with service-based business owners, right? The point is that you have to keep your word on your commitment. I remember uh, 2016, I invested in a program. It was close to 10 grand. And uh, about halfway through the program, I wasn't getting much from the program. I just wasn't. And at that time, that guy had allowed, allowed us to pay him monthly, Right? Now, what most people have done, I've seen people do this, is that if you want a monthly payment, send like a membership site or a program, a lot of people do is once they got what they want from a program, especially Christians, but a lot of folks do this in the world too, is that what they call it, they call the bank, they call the credit card company and do what they cancel the credit card. So they can stop making payments on it. People do it all the time. Well, what did I do? I did not do that. Why? I told myself, here's the deal. And this guy was a worldly guy, too. He was a secular guy. I said, hey, I have to be the light. I said, so even though I'm not getting anything else from this program, I told this man, I'm going to pay you for 12 months. So what did I do? I paid him for the whole entire 12 months. See, I believe that has a lot to do with the results that we have now in our business. God would test you with situations in life. He would test you with money. He will test you to see when you honor your word, honor your commitment. If you go buy a product online and on your receipt or when you, when you, or when you bought the product, it said no refund and you knew it was no refund, don't contact that company back pretending like, oh, I didn't buy this order. That is so unethical and wrong. And I see it time and time and time again for people who claim to know Jesus. Show me where that type of behavior lines up in scripture. Show me where that lines up. We, we can't. We have to stop that. That's why it bothers and breaks my heart. I shared this with, with one of my uh, God's Masterpiece Breakthrough Coaches the other day. His name's Gerald. And one of our Breakthrough Coaches and ministers. I said, man, listen. This stuff affects me so bad, so much, because we should be doing better. I said, we cannot win the world. I said, the traditional church is not going to win the world. We are the kingdom-minded entrepreneurs who are ethical and do business right amongst one another and, uh, uh, and, and, and with the world. We're going to win the world over, not the traditional church. I said, so when I see this stuff happening, it hurts me and breaks my heart. I said, because these folks, they're not thinking long term. They're thinking about themselves. See? See? In order to build a successful business, it's not about making decisions right now, today. It's long term. This is a long term thing. And, and, and I was sharing this with, 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 with a client a month ago. I said, what you do right now, the decisions you make right now are going to affect your year from now, two years from now, five years from now. I said, don't you think God is seeing that? God is watching. God, like, can you be faithful? Can you be honorable in your word, in your commitment with this small thing I'm giving you right now? Because it's a small thing. 
It's a small thing. It might be big to you. You might be like, oh, $10,000 is a lot of money or $50,000. i am not saying it's not a money. I'm done talking that. But I'm saying in the eyes of God, $1,000, $5,000, $10,000, $20,000, that's not a lot of money. God, like, listen, I have a whole abundant treasury here that I want to give you, but can you be faithful with $50,000 first? Right? You want God to bless your business, to create a million dollar business, yet we can't be faithful with the $5,000 investment you made. God sees the end from the beginning. It's always big picture, long term with God. It's not about right now, today. And you're always being tested. This word says that you keep your promises no matter what. You keep your promises even when it hurts. It might hurt you to say, shucks, this is going to set me back six months. But this is what I promised. I know a lot of people claim to know Jesus. And I'm not going to name any names, but I know a lot of people be on Facebook or social media talking about God and Jesus all day long. But they do a lot of unethical stuff. And justify it. Because why? They feel differently this day. Three months ago, six months ago, they felt one way, but they feel that they can break it because they feel differently today. And they believe that the Holy Spirit is leading them. Show me in a word. But the Holy Spirit will, will, will have you commit to something today and then, then say it's okay to break that commitment. It's okay to say, no, God telling me to do this. We have to get out of our flesh. Because nine times out of ten is our flesh. One time out of ten might be the enemy. But the enemy cannot make you do anything. Jesus said, I'll give you power and authority of the enemy. He can put a thought and ideal in your mind. He can't make you do it. Nine times out of ten is us. When I did any type of sin... Big or small, it was me. And this is the missing ingredient, guys. I'm gonna teach you. I'm gonna teach a kingdom business ethics course because this is no nobody teaches this. And I'm kind of letting my cat out the bag. Hope you guys don't copy and plagiarize me right now. But I told my clients in God's masterpiece, I'm gonna teach this, and they're looking forward to it because nobody does it. I can teach you on market. I can teach you uh, marketing stuff. I can teach you sales. I can have you grow a, a six-figure business using Kingdom Virtual Events inside the you know get, vir get visible with virtual program and our God's masterpiece programs and all that stuff, right? But the missing ingredient and in all this stuff is Kingdom Business Ethics. Can you be ethical? Do you have character? Saying I know Jesus with my with your lips means nothing anymore. See, people are so jaded. Unfortunately, people get jaded by doing business with people who say they're Christians. I don't, that's why I don't call myself a Christian. I use the word kingdom citizen. People are not used to that. But people, because why? Because they've done business with Christians and got burned. Uh, my mentor, a couple years ago, did, did an unethical business and screwed over about 40 of us in a $10,000 program. All those folks, I talked to about Five, six, or seven, eight of them of their 40. You know what they said? They said, I would never ever do again, do business again with another believer. And that broke my heart. I'm like, shucks. See, your actions affect more than yourself. This guy's actions, he was thinking of himself. He tried to make business better for him. Thinking of himself. Not thinking of, you know, I made a commitment to these folks. I'm going to honor my word. He's thinking, he thinking of himself. But now you, you have jaded 7, 9, 10, 20 people to never trust another believer. You don't do that. You have to think every decision you make is not about you. It affects others. In business and, and of course your personal life. It should be obvious, you know, I'm married and every, every decision a man makes, if you choose to go cheat on your wife or not, it's going to affect more than just you. It's going to affect your kids. If you got kids, your family, it could be generation, it could be generational curses, right? So we have to really understand this stuff and see big picture. And I'm pleading with you guys, hey, if you've done an ethical business, if you know you have lied, if you know you got caught in your emotions, you know what you did was not lying up with scripture, I'm, I'm, I'm imploring you to repent and go back to that person and apologize. The word of God says you are awkward with someone, 
Leave your sacrifice at the altar. It means nothing. Go get, go, go. You go get God $100,000 tomorrow. But if you know you screw people over in business, it means nothing in the eyes of God. It means nothing. Go apologize to those people. You broke promises. You broke written contracts. You didn't keep your word. You lied. You filed false disputes uh, with the credit card company. You know, you didn't keep your commitment. Whatever it might be. Go back and apologize to people. If you can't reach them, then you, then you need to repent. Right? And, and make a commitment. Say, Lord, I'm done. I'm not going to do this again. Because God will always test you. I've been tested. And whatever you go through, you're going to be tested. So I, so I went through my situations, right? And God is testing, okay? Because you're always going to be tested. You're like, wow, this person did this. Man, this, this is tough. This is rough. Lord, please help me never do that. You don't judge me. You don't say, I'll get better than those people, right? Because any, any of us in the right situation or wrong situation can be led to do something wrong. Sin, deceive. Any of us. None of us are above reproach. I'm not above reproach. You're not above reproach. But we've got to ask the Holy Spirit to maintain and we have to choose. God is not going to turn us into a robot. You have to choose to do the right thing even when it hurts. Because I promise you this, if, 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 it, if it prolongs if you guys say, well, I got another six months to do this or another three months to do this or I got to put another 10 grand in this because I committed to do this, I promise you this. God will make it worth your while if you remain consistent and obedient and not break your promises. Have integrity, have character. God, this is, this is so lacking. It's lacking in the traditional church. It's lacking in all Christendom. Come on, we have to do better. I'm looking for true Kingdom-minded entrepreneurs who want to lock horns to be a part of what we're doing and say, you know what? I am going to stand out by my character, by my integrity, by keeping my promises, by being a person, a man or woman of my word. And I'm going to let my light shine like that. I'm not going to walk around with a big old cross on my neck or walk around with a big Bible or put signs that claim I'm a believer or post the scriptures all day long on social media pretending as I'm, I'm some prophet or I'm holy and righteous. That means nothing if you're unethical. And we have to hold one another accountable. We have to hold one another accountable for this to happen. So if you got value from this episode, let me know. Take a snapshot of this episode, put it on my Instagram at Christopher underscore Harrell. Say, man, this is powerful. Or go to our Facebook page, right? Go to our Chris Harrell team Facebook page or either, either one of our, uh, my Christopher Harrell Facebook page. Kingdom Walker Superman page said, man, this, this was powerful. Let me know what you got valuable out of this. I'm going to do a whole course on this, but I kind of just want to put this out because it's been on my heart and mind for the past couple of weeks. And this is a missing ingredient in business and especially with Christians. We have to do better. If you claim to know Jesus, we have to be above the standards of the world. We set the standards, not the world. We set the standards, not the world. You understand what I'm saying? So, hopefully you found this valuable. Hopefully you enjoyed this episode. Uh, share it with others, shucks. Let them hear this because they need to hear the truth. It's time for believers to stand up and be honorable, ethical people. If you do your own brother, sister, fellow king or queen wrong in business, how does that make you look? And, and don't forget, guys, there are laws. We will all reap what we sow. If, you, if you're trying to build your business and you're doing bad business with other people, what do you think you're going to reap? You think God going to bless your business? Do you actually believe that? All right, guys, remember this. Put God first in all that you do. Let me know what you find value about this. Subscribe. Leave, leave a review of this, of this podcast as well. Tell me your thoughts. And go and register right now. Get your spot. Go to GetVisibleWithVirtual.com. GetVisibleWithVirtual.com. Go and join us on a brand new upcoming super duper awesome masterclass. 
and you will discover how in five days to create a five figure per month business using Kingdom Virtual Events. It will radically shift and change your life unlike anything else today. Go to GetVisibleWithVirtual.com right now. Get your spot. I'm going to see you in the class. Peace and God bless. Thanks for listening to Kingdom Marketing Secrets. For more powerful resources to grow your business the Kingdom way, go to KingdomMarketingSecrets.com. If this podcast has impacted you, we ask you to subscribe, post a review, and share it with a friend. 